Today on Forbes, why billionaire Wendy Schmidt is doubling down on climate science in the age of Trump. When a deep-sea expedition off the coast of Argentina this summer discovered otherworldly coral forests, neon-hued sea stars, and dozens of other unknown species, the scientific team didn't just credit advanced imaging or good weather. They credited Wendy Schmidt. Dr. Martin Brager, a marine biologist with Argentina's National Scientific and Technical Research Council and a senior scientist on board, said, quote, This expedition would have been impossible without Schmidt Ocean Institute. He estimates the value of the ship time, crew, equipment, and technology provided by Schmidt Ocean Institute, or SOI, to be around $1.5 million, roughly 1.3 billion Argentine pesos. An investment, he says, that would have been, quote, nearly impossible to match through public funding. However, under SOI's model, scientists gain access to the vessel and its resources provided, they share their research openly with the public. Schmidt told Forbes, quote, that's the deal. It's about science in service of everyone. That voyage, one of nearly 100 expeditions supported by Schmidt Ocean Institute, marked a milestone for Argentina where research of this scale is rarely feasible due to limited scientific infrastructure. It also marked a symbolic one for Schmidt's expanding role in global climate philanthropy. She and her husband, former Google CEO Eric Schmidt, who Forbes estimates is worth $30.2 billion, have directed a significant portion of their $2 billion in lifetime giving towards environmental initiatives, including more than $450 million into SOI where Wendy serves as president. With Donald Trump back in the White House and a second wave of federal rollbacks targeting climate funding and scientific independence, the stakes for private science funding have never been higher. When asked if her strategy had shifted under Trump's return, Schmidt told Forbes, quote, We're doing what we always do, but the urgency is greater now. We're doubling down on the work. Schmidt's response to rising political headwinds has been to expand not retreat. Rather than reshuffling priorities, she's scaling existing programs, accelerating timelines, and backing researchers whose work might otherwise stall without support. That consistency has become a lifeline for the scientific community and led to her inclusion on the Forbes 2025 Sustainability Leaders List, honoring 50 individuals driving transformative climate progress around the world today. Dr. Gretchen Goldman, President and CEO of the Union of Concerned Scientists and a former Assistant Director in the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, said, quote, The U.S. has long been a leader in climate science. When we pull back, the ripple effects are global. Goldman tracked more than 200 attacks on science during Trump's first term. She said, quote, Wendy Schmidt's funding has kept entire fields alive. Goldman points to Schmidt's support for areas vulnerable to political interference or budget cuts, like climate data collection and science communication, as examples of where that lifeline has mattered most. Since co-founding SOI in 2009 with her husband Eric, Wendy has led efforts that have helped discover nearly 50 new species, with hundreds more pending review, supported more than 1,400 marine and ocean scientists, and live-streamed thousands of hours of deep-sea footage. Most of the 10 to 12 hour dives used to attract just a few thousand viewers who could watch what was happening at the same time as the scientists on board SOI's ship. But the Argentina expedition went unexpectedly viral, garnering over 19 million views and 6.8 million hours of watch time, much of it from young Argentinians. Brager, who was the senior scientist on board, says, quote, for many, it was their first time seeing what lies in their own deep sea the colors, the life, the richness. That kind of visibility is rare. It makes science feel real and relevant. It's the kind of high-risk, high-reward research that's increasingly difficult to fund through traditional channels. Through a constellation of initiatives, including SOI, Schmidt Sciences, the Schmidt Family Foundation, and 11th Hour Racing, Schmidt has filed widening gaps in public support. The couple's funding spans climate modeling, biodiversity tracking, and tools that help collect and share scientific data openly, with an emphasis on the ocean. For full coverage, check out Elizabeth Breyer's piece on Forbes.com. 
This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.